This is exercise 2.4, approving updates for the um, Microsoft Official Academic Course Administering Windows Server 2012 R2, exam 70-411. So this is a pretty quick video. It's only supposed to take about five minutes. The WSU server that we've previously installed um, and configured we need to create the client. Actually, the client's ready now to get updates from the WSU server. And in this exercise, we're going to approve what updates we want to push through. Um, the mindset behind this is that you've just configured the WSU server and has been configured, the clients have been configured to get updates from the WSU server. Before you approve the updates, you should research what an update will do and then test the update thoroughly so that it does not cause problems within your network. There have been times when Microsoft has tried to do an update on my machine and when I've researched it I found that it was going to conflict with some of the other programs that I work with so I did not do those updates and it's important when you work when you're managing an entire network that you take that kind of care with all of the updates that come through and there's a lot of them so we're going to walk through that process all right so we're going to be working with server one and we're going to go to the Update Services console. So we're going to go into Tools, Windows Server Update. Minimize this. And you don't necessarily have to go through the Server Manager. You can always do your right click and search or run directly from here. But since I had it up, it was just as easy to go through that. All right, so now on the left pane, we're going to expand server one when it's already been expanded. And we want to select updates. So here's our updates. And then the question in the lab manual is why is updates needed by computers option not available? Because we haven't added any, we have not yet added any of the computers yet. So you have no computers added to the WSUS console. <clears throat> so on the top of the screen in the approval drop down, where are we? Okay, we're going to click on Critical Updates, and here's the Approval drop-down. You see we currently are on Unapproved. And then over on the Status is right here, Failed or Needed. We want to select any. And then we're going to click on Refresh to update. To click several updates, we're going to use the Control key and, select and click several updates. When we're finished selecting the updates, we're going to release the Control key. So we're going to right-click the selected updates and choose to approve. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to select Update for Windows Server 2012. And then if I want to select multiple, I can just do my control, left click, left click, left click. I'm holding down my control button. And that's how you would select multiple. And I just released my control because I only want the one. And I want to go ahead and approve. I'll put in approved install. And then I can click on OK. 
so now that one's been approved to install. And I'll go ahead and click on close. Okay, so if you're following along the lab manual at this point, you would take a screenshot of the update services console and click on. We're going to go ahead and close out of this, and this is the end of this exercise in this video. The next video, ooh, we're done for lab two, so. Yes, this completes lab two.